thank you for coming back. I want to thank everyone for helping me reach over a thousand subscribers. Um, you guys truly rock. All your comments are really heartfelt. They really make my day. I'm like, who are they talking about? Yeah, they me. But I thank you so much. I appreciate the love, the support, and I'm going to do my very best to bring you as much content as I can. Um, all right, so today I am going to um, make an Easter balloon. I actually, let me move the machine out the way. I actually created this. This is a very popular item for this time of the year. Um, I wasn't going to do one, but I decided to hop on the bandwagon. I'm not going to do this specific design today with all the goodies in it. I'm going to do something a little more simple with just Easter eggs um, and balloons and a small plush toy. That's all I'm going to do today. And I'm going to show you the keepsake stuffer that I have. Yes, I have a machine. I got a machine, y'all. I've been had a machine. <laughs> if you check out my video where I um, show you how I attach a bottle into a balloon, how I secure it into the balloon, you'll see my beautiful keepsake stuffer machine. There are um, various types of machines out there. They range from 300 bucks to 800 bucks. Um, this one was about 600. I'll tell you the story of how I got it another time. Um, for this video, I'm just going to show you the pieces and how it works and um, make this balloon from beginning to end so that you can see the full process. A lot of you asked to see um, how to do the toppers, how to fill it, how it works. So I'm, that's what I'm going to show you today. Okay, so it comes in pieces, a few pieces. It has these two pieces that you put together to create this dome. Um, and here's the inflator. You can see it. So, I'm going to attach the balloon to the top of um, the stuffer. I have these 18 inch stuffing balloons. Um, stuffing balloons are specifically made for these machines. Um, I've never used the bigger balloons, the 36 inch balloons with the machine. Those balloons I used to stuff by hand. Um, I'm not sure if it could work on the machine. Maybe I'll give it a try and let you know. Um, so these also come with a balloon expander or a balloon stretcher to help you put it onto the mouth yeah. properly. A lot of people I see say to roll down the the mouth of the balloon and then put it on. I can't do that. I just haven't mastered that technique yet. I'm still learning myself a lot of tricks of the trade. Um, so I'm just gonna share with you the way that I do it. Um, I don't roll the nozzle down, the, the mouth down, and sometimes it can cause a hiccup and sometimes it doesn't. So if it causes a hiccup today, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Could you pass me that circle thing? The circle. Yeah. the inflator which has um, a foot pedal that's how we gonna inflate it So the hiccup that I was talking about 
is this. It doesn't lay flat. He has his water. It doesn't lay flat um, along the, the mouth of the stuffer. So what I do is just put it over. Bless you. This circular um, item, adjustable stuff and sleeve, it's called a stuff and sleeve. It protects the mouth of the balloon from being snagged by your glue dots, by friction from the balloons or sharp objects they also have a cloth sleeve um that you could purchase okay. so i have easter grass I'm gonna put on the bottom i'm gonna put all of it a full bag that i got from um dollar tree So I already have some balloons inflated, but I'm going to inflate more for the sake of this. We're going to fill this balloon all the way up with balloons. colors I'm using are Pastel Matte Blue by Batolitex and Pastel Matte Pink by Batolitex. You don't want your balloons to be like this, right? I inflated it too much, but you don't want it to be like this. You want it to be more circular. I put tape on both sides. These have um, a sharp edge on it. You don't want it to get into the balloon. This one has uh, probably chocolate eggs. And one thing I would do differently, I would put a paper plate on the bottom of this. Yes, um, just in case the heavy eggs go under the grass, you won't see the eggs on the bottom and it won't affect the balloon. Um, Starburst. This has money in it. More money. And throw some hand sanitizer wipes. Whatever this cool uh, ring pops. And get some more balloons. And another egg here. Unfortunately, um, as I mentioned before, my keepsake is not behaving 
the way it should. It's deflating quicker than usual. When this operates properly, it will stay inflated throughout the entire process. Um, at least that's how it was when I just got it. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to Estelle Creighton from Balloon Class Decorating. You guys go ahead and check out her page. She has um, her channel. She has um, a lot of awesome tips and trip trips tricks on um the proper technique for items how to create certain items for um things that we use like poles how to do a weighted pole um proper technique for certain garlands um balloon bouquets or what have you check her out she's a nice woman and um she's very supportive so go ahead and check out her page subscribe show her some love um okay what else is that all we're gonna put in here oh and Pinky. Can't forget Pinky. I like to use fishing wire over thread. If I don't have any fishing wire, which I always have fishing wire, um, I'll use um, white thread. I'm gonna just put them in there at the top. Sorry guys, my sister was reprimanding my acrobatic son in the background. Forgive me. You actually probably didn't, I didn't need to use fishing wire for this one because the balloon is so stuffed, it will stay inflated. It will stay situ uh, situated in the balloon, nice and snug, be nice and comfy in these balloons. I'm going to go ahead and take off the balloon off the stuffer, tie it off. Someone asked me, how do I tie this off? So I wasn't prepared for class today. Usually I would um, twist the neck of the balloon, put a clip to keep the air in, then take the top of the dome off, then tie it off. But um, yeah, you can do it this way too. You can tie it off without taking it off. So twist the nozzle, the neck of the balloon. Tie it. I, I could put this one on the side because it doesn't have any items that are going to tilt over. So, as I mentioned before, the machine's not working properly. So, it's losing air prior to um, me completing the job. So, I was reinflating it here um, to keep the air in so that I could tie it off properly um, without it losing air. I'm just grateful it still works and it works enough that I can accomplish what I need to do. Again, because this balloon is so stuffed, I didn't need to use the fishing wire. It's making the, the bunny go up a little further than I would like. Okay. So inside you have a bunch of eggs, um, some goodies, hand sanitizer, and a stuffed animal. Um, for the sake of this 
this, I'm just going to use these blush um, pink balloons for the... Actually, no. One second. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm going to make bow ties. A bow tie with heart balloons. These are six-inch heart balloons by Qualitex. Make sure they're the same size. out some of the air to try to make it as small as possible. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm pushing the air as far out to the um the front as possible, the, the bottom of the balloon as possible. Um, if you don't inflate the balloon to um, as much as it's supposed to go, the color doesn't look right. It doesn't inflate properly. Tie these two together. fishing wire that is left at the top of the bunny and to attach this to the top of this balloon. You can also use a 260 to do it, but um, since this is here, I'm just going to use it. And just figure eight it around the balloon. Usually we use four um, five inch balloons. We call it a quad for the, the neck of it. And you see we have the start of a bow tie here. Um, for this, I am not going to be using these 35 inch balloons but for the sake of this tutorial I will use it so that you can see how it's going to look because I don't have the nozzles for this I'm going to use a straw let me just put the straw inside the neck of the balloon your foil balloon Gotta plug it in. Look how big this guy is. attach this to the top right show you. I'm gonna take a 260 I'm gonna cut it in half I'm gonna this off. Okay. 
So what you do, you take the 260 and roll it into the neck of the foil. Tie it. Let's do that again. up in front of company. All right. All right. I tie it two times. What I'm doing, I'm cutting off the excess um, fishing wire. And here you have your Easter basket full of Easter egg surprise. Um, what I also do is the bottom for it to sit on. Blow up a 260. Make it into a circle. These balloons just showing off and showing out today, huh? All right, let's do it out again. All right. But that's what balloons do. They pop. So if you're afraid of balloons, it's it's not for you because they they will definitely pop i have them pop on me all the time about this size and cut off the excess Easter surprise. Um, I would probably charge twenty five dollars for this with a smaller topper, of course, because um, it's not it doesn't cost as much. Not a lot of material. You could get a pack of um, you could get a pack of Easter eggs for a dollar. I think six comes in a pack, so you could spend two. You could do two packs of Easter eggs, um, and whatever other treat you want to put inside. I I might attempt to do this again without the machine. Um, I did try at first. That was my first plan to do for you. Um, but it was too much. It was too much for me. Yeah, it's too much. It was too much for me to blow up so many of these right now. Um, I had decided to not blow up as many balloons and I just started stuffing the eggs inside on top of the Easter grass and the eggs went on the bottom of the balloon so I was like oh I gotta do this over so I pulled out the machine to just show you a quick tutorial of how a balloon is made from beginning to end 
end. I hope you enjoyed. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like, and share. And thank you guys for, um, thanks again for helping me to reach 1K. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video, if it was in the video before this, then I'm going to do a giveaway. I don't know what the giveaway is yet, but I'm going to do a giveaway. Another shout out is to Lordez Medina from Head Spins Events. Okay. You guys, if you need a stuffing machine, email her at h that's been e h s e boston at gmail.com she is the best excellent customer service and she will give you a good deal she's not out here to to rob us she actually wants us all to make money and um she's very helpful so hit her up in her inbox and let her know you're looking for a stuffing machine and they are reasonably priced they work just the same um, I will put the link to Estelle's page. I will put the email address to Lourdes. And I will also put a link to a gentleman, a video that I watch on how to make a DIY stuffer, which was very helpful. It just didn't work for me. I did, I couldn't get the sale right. But again, thank you guys for coming and like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, all that jazz. Whatever else I'm supposed to say, I'll get it right and I'll get a better camera for that person who who was talking about my camera and my crushed shirt and all that. I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>